Haven't you had the courage to approach her to be your, to be your girlfriend? No, we are, we are just very good as friends. Really? Yes. Yeah. So you just want to stay in the friend zone? <laughs> yeah, well. What's up, my journeys? It's your boy, Italian Davido. At this very moment, I'm right here with... Celia. Celia and... Jonas. How are you guys doing today? We are very good. Yeah, we're doing great. Just exploring the city and mm -hmm. see the beauty of Rome. Wow. So where are you guys from? <laughs> we're from Norway. How long have you guys been here? For like a week. Yeah. A week? A yes. week in Rome, but in Italy we've been for three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So how is it going? It's going well. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, we haven't really hung out that much like mm -hmm. over a longer period. But mm -hmm. now it's been three weeks and we get to know each other really well. So. Sounds good. Yeah. So are you guys friends? Yes. We're friends. We're yes. friends. We graduated uh, recently together in Oslo. Like how long you guys been friends? Three years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the most amazing part about each other? Oh. Her happiness and just uh, <laughs> the, the joy she spread to everyone. She, okay. she, she's like oh, the sun. Okay, oh, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, that's good. Sweetest. So tell me, what do you like about him? Uh, Jonas is that kind of dude that you can talk about anything with. Mm -hmm. Like he loves like physio physiologic now. What? Philo so science and philosophy. Yeah, yeah. Right? science and philosophy, and mm -hmm. you can like. Talk about the universe or feelings or whatever. Jonas is here to <laughs> have the conversation, so it's just an amazing guy. Okay, sounds great. So tell me, like, how many countries have you guys been to? Uh, it's been a while since I counted. Yeah. I okay, just give me a number. Probably um, eight, maybe. Eight. eight? About Around you? ten, maybe. Ten. Yeah. So among the country you visited, which of them is your favorite? Mine is uh, definitely Nepal. Okay. Yeah. Nepal? Nepal, okay. in uh, Asia. Okay. It's north of India. Yeah. So how about you? Which of those countries have you visited is your favorite? Uh, so I actually love Italy. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted to come back because okay. I lived in Milan for okay. a while. Okay. Yes, before COVID. So okay. I want to come back and just see more. Wow, yes. wow. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. So tell me now, is it your first time of coming here? No, it's my fourth time, I think. Fourth time? Yeah. Wow. Well, in, it's, it's the second time in Rome, but oh, the fourth okay. time in Italy. Yeah. So what do you like about Italy? Oh, the culture and the food, especially, and the okay. weather, because we're from a cold place, <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so tell cold. me something about the Italian, the, the mm. cuisine. So, do you find it um, cool? Yeah, we love the food. Like <laughs> ice, we, cream. Oh, ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were like in Genoa mm -hmm. before we were here, and mm -hmm. oh, we went to this restaurant with the most amazing pasta I have ever tasted. Wow. So we were there, I think, three times yeah. in one week <laughs> because it was so amazing. What is that one thing that people don't know so much about Norway? Great. There are no polar bears in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. very far in the north. Okay. It, it, and uh, and it, it is cold, but it's not like the coldest country in a way. Mm -hmm. Like in the summer, it's mm -hmm. actually quite warm in Norway. Okay. In a way. Yeah. So, tell me now, like, how much do someone have to make to live comfortably in Norway? How, um, how much? Yeah. Like the cost? Oh, yeah, it's pretty expensive. It's uh, expensive, but yeah. like, yeah, I think still it's like. Uh, even though we're kind of poor, I think it's still a good country to live in. If, okay. So I think uh, if, even if you don't have like too much money and stuff, I think it's still a good country to live in because the the, uh, the Nor Norwegian government take care of you and um, so you're, you're taken care of anyway. Okay. So, so the, yeah. is the cost of living that high in Norway? Yeah, it can uh, yeah. be. Yeah, it's pretty, I don't know, like you a cheap apartment i think is or like 1004 1, the currency like or it's like 14000 norwegian kronas but mm -hmm. like in euros the euros is so like it, 1004, 1004 for the, just the apartment but okay. also the other expenses like food mm -hmm. and going out doing stuff just mm -hmm. costs a little bit so, so tell me now like how much does it cost for your school fees in norway uh, oh so the school Oh, it's free? It's like free, but you can yeah. have a loan if you want. Uh, don't want to work while studying. Mm -hmm. You can get a loan, but uh, mm -hmm. other than that, it's free. You get a loan and a stipend. But like we went to a, um, a college in Oslo mm -hmm. and it was free except for like 800 kroners, like $80 fee each half semester. Okay. So yeah. if each semester you, you only pay like $80 and that's it. Yeah. Is it a private university? Or? No, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, like the government. Really? Yeah. yeah. Public. Wow. So, public. So that's really nice about if you're living in Norway mm -hmm. and um, just like a citizen then you have like mm -hmm. uh, free healthcare okay. education mm -hmm. and 
yeah, it's it's good like that. Oh, okay. Mm. Could you go like deeper in the head capsule talk? Would yeah, you the like sh tell me more about it? Mm. Well, uh, yeah, way? it's. Uh, I don't know lot too much political behind it, mm -hmm. uh, but like it's it's quite good in Norway because okay. you you get it for free kind of. Mm -hmm. Like you only pay like small fees, mm -hmm. so you're like you're taken care of mm -hmm. because mm. you pay uh, maybe higher taxes in Norway mm -hmm. than other places. Mm -hmm. Uh, those go into like uh, free healthcare, kind of. How about health insurance and all of that? Do I, do I well, we do have, but like for those kind of things, you mm -hmm. don't need it. Like health insurance is probably just for like teeth and stuff. Okay. That, that's the only thing that's not covered wow. by the government. Mm. Wow. So other than that, everything is covered by the government. Sounds good. So yeah. like, how much is like the wage? Minimum the wage. Minimum wage. Or someone working in uh, Norway. Um, probably like uh, around. Uh, 40,000 euros, uh, I think it's like the bare minimum. For a month? No, in the year. But like okay. uh, minimum wage uh, per hour is uh, around, uh, probably around uh, 15 euros. Okay, per hour? Yeah, per hour. Wow. 15 euros, around there, something okay. I think is minimum wage. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to live in, in Norway in the future. <laughs> Norway is a very good country, at least in the summer, but in the yeah. winter it's too okay. cold. It's very cold? In the yeah, winter? Yeah. Wow. But uh, in Norway, I, I think it's a very nice place to be in the summer. Yeah. Really? At least no slow. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to put that on my bucket list. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Tell me now, um, you said you guys have been friends for three years, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, haven't you have the courage to approach her to be your, to be your girlfriend? No, we are, we are just very good as friends. Really? Yes. Yeah. So you just want to stay in the friend zone? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, we don't have the need to go beyond the friend zone. Really? Yes. So tell me, what happened if he asks you to be his girlfriend? So, yeah. Will you so, give him a, a chance? Uh, I don't think so. I think I would just like sit down with him and then we have a conversation mm -hmm. and I would say that I don't feel it like that. It's more like family, a brother. Mm -hmm. We more, more, more know, like family, so yeah. like she knows my family and I know her. Yeah. Okay. And like, uh, like in at least in our culture, it's mm -hmm. normal to be uh, friends with girls and girls are friends with boys. Okay. So yeah, like yeah. our friend groups has become like a big family kind of. Okay, fine. Let's say she give you a chance. Will you accept it? Uh, no, like uh, <laughs> not not really as girlfriends. Be honest. Be honest. I think I also would have to like sit down and talk. But like, will you will you accept it? Well, I, I would probably not accept it right uh, right away, but I'm always on. I, I, like I love you, but like not in a, that way, kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So currently, are you single or? We are both single. Yes. Both we both single. are singles. Yeah. So we yeah. both are like uh, we we could like go on double dates and stuff. So we both help each other with uh, dating and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like. Uh, Sounds good. How yeah. old are you? Twenty-four. Wow. How about you? Twenty-five. You look good, man. Uh, I was kind of like thinking maybe you're 22. You look very young for your age. <laughs> you too. Yeah, I keep bringing myself to... Uh, <laughs> to so what is the secret, man? <laughs> the Norwegian fjords. Pardon? The Norwegian fjords and the water in the Norway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good water. Okay. Tell me something about Norway. Like, which of those food would you recommend to me um, if I should visit Norway? Uh, the probably most popular food in Norway are mm -hmm. taco. Taco. Ta tacos. Tacos. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How is it like? <laughs> like you know taco? The Mexican food? Okay. It's the same? Yeah. Really? We have like a taco Friday. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, uh, okay. so that's popular. Oh, we yeah. do have other stuff like uh, Norwegian salmon. Mm -hmm. Like uh, that's very common. Okay. And the fish. fish mm -hmm. It's a big fish culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That is amazing. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a photojournalist. Okay. Photojournalist, right? Yeah. How about you? I'm a journalist. Journalist? Yes. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. So, tell me the uh, what is the hardest part about being a journalist? Oh, it's so fun to just connect with others mm -hmm. and help them to tell their story in a okay. good way so it can <laughs> reach other people and mm -hmm. maybe they are inspired too. Okay. To round up this program, do you have any life advice for someone who has been watching you? Life advice. Well, it's uh, just to uh, live your dreams and okay. uh, and go for it. Like, don't be scared, and you only have one life, so mm -hmm. you should uh, use it, uh, use it wisely. I think. Wow, sounds good. How yeah. about you? Yeah, I think you just should really listen to yourself mm -hmm. and your gut and what you really feel about things, and not just uh, do something because it might look good or other people expect it from you. You should follow your heart, and that's how you're gonna be happy. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> 
Um, your name is Celia, right? Celia, yeah. Celia, okay. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, jo you. Jonas. 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 Okay, <laughs> sounds good. So, thank you guys for yeah. being part of my yeah. journey. Like, thank I'm you. so grateful. It's yeah. nice talking with you guys. Yeah, you All right, thank you. you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing my next video. Peace.